What is up team? Welcome back to Worked and welcome to day one of the Stacked program. This is a full body program with a little bit more focus on the legs to complement last month's pumped upper body program. Let's hop into the warm up and get right into it. Thank you guys for joining me. We're going to start off with 10 toe touch body weight squats. So starting out with your feet shoulder width apart, keep those legs straight, reach down, grab the front of your toes, drop the butt, stand up. 10 reps. Of course, we have a lower body workout on the books today to start us off. And you should have printed out your calendar or at least have a pen handy to write down your score on our test for day one. So we're gonna do a test at the beginning of the month and a test at the end of the month. Little challenge, see if we can improve. After your 10 toe touch squats, we're going Kozak squats. Feet nice and wide, toes pointed out. You're going to shift over on one side, keeping the opposite leg straight. Five each side. You can let that heel come up a little bit. Should feel a nice stretch in the hip, in the uh, adductors, hips a little bit. Let's get those legs loose and ready to work. From there, we're dropping down to one knee. We're going to loosen up the ankle a little bit. Keeping that left heel planted, you're going to shift the knee over the toe. Try to keep that heel on the ground for a three second hold and then come out of it. Three times on each ankle. Should feel a stretch right down the back here. Switching legs. Drive that knee forward, trying to get the knee over the toe. Heel stays planted. From there, we're hopping up, going into 10 good mornings. Get those hamstrings and glutes a little loosened up. Feet a little narrower than a squat, hands behind your head. Push your hips back towards the wall. Stand up nice and tall. Keep that low back nice and flat. Get a stretch down the glutes and the hamstrings. From there, we're going into 10 knee-high hip openers. So bring that leg up, open up the hip, five each side. Get those hips nice and loose. We're going 20 jumping jacks, just to get that heart rate up a little bit. Get everything loosened up, ready to rock. Twenty reps. From there, ten big arm circles forward, ten in reverse, ten crosses. Let's get after it. Ten in reverse. And then 10 crosses. Our first little circuit today, guys, is not a circuit. It's a three minute squat test that we're gonna repeat on the last day of the month. So this is a 20 day program, four weeks. On the final day of the program, we're gonna retest this and you're gonna look to either improve on reps or use a heavier weight and match the same reps. You're just looking to get better. So I have this set up as a low dumbbell squat. So versus a goblet squat, because I think it's a little less challenging on the core, we can really attack the legs. There's a couple ways you can go about doing this. So number one, if you have a heavy enough single dumbbell or kettlebell, you can have it set up in a squat stance, drive down the ground, try to get the hips and knees to about a 90 degree angle and stand back up. So we're gonna set three minutes on the clock and you're gonna to try to do as many reps as you can. You can of course take short breaks. You can really push this because legs is like a lot of mental fortitude. So you can push it pretty close to failure. I don't want you to hold anything in the tank. So that's one way. You could also hold the dumbbell like this. 
If you have a he one heavy dumbbell, you can hold it sideways, squat, touch, and drive back up. If you have lighter dumbbells, you can hold two of them, and they're coming to the sides of the knees, down 90 degrees, and drive back up. Try to keep the same uh, range of motion on every rep. You don't want to start cutting it short as you get tired. If you have something to elevate your heels on or your feet, whoop, you can do that as well to allow you a little extra range of motion. So I'm going to do it with this 80 pound kettlebell. I'm going to have my feet up on yoga blocks, down, up, all the way down, let it touch the ground and squeeze the glute, the quads at the top. As many rests you can go, three minutes on the clock, short rests if you need it. If you don't have any equipment, you can do a body weight and just try to uh, flow through it fast. Any questions, guys? Pretty straightforward. Three minutes on the clock, let's just work. Get as many as you can. Ten second countdown team, three minutes on the clock. Keep track of how many you're doing and write it down afterwards. So we can repeat and try to beat it. Three, one, work. that chest up we got this conversation and you seem to agree with me when it's complications you draw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become that like girl and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you help me Woo! Ha. short rest if you need it it's a mental game too on the squats. Come on team, grind through it. I know I heard it's a minute left. Woo. Fifty seconds. It hurt. Then got around 70. I need to rewatch the tape. I actually lost count. Whew. Write it down though. Keep track of your score. We're going to repeat on day 20. Catch your breath, clear your space, and we're on the circuit B team.
pretty simple circuit coming up here. It's one movement, but we're doing it unilateral, so one leg at a time. We got 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest between each of these movements, 40 seconds rest between rounds. So you're getting 15 seconds between each leg. Yeah, this thing just gave me a woo. So, I'm gonna go 20s. We're going lateral lunges. So you're gonna step out to the side with two dumbbells. If you can, the dumbbells come to the sides of your leg with the opposite leg staying straight and drive back up and across. So as you come across, your chest can lean towards the ground, push your hips back from the side, it looks like this. You can lean forward, keep that low back flat and drive back up. So we're gonna go 40 seconds on the right leg, 40 seconds on the left leg. The key here is keeping that opposite leg straight and loading all the weight on this right knee. Allow your toe to travel over your knee a little bit. It's okay. You're never going to get there if you don't. So knee has to go a little bit forward to the toe. Hips are back. Your chest can be a little leaned over. If you only want to use one dumbbell, hold it in the opposite hand. So if you're going to use one, you can hold it in the left hand when you're lunging right. And if you're lunging left, I would hold it in my right hand. If you can use two, use them. We're going right for 40, 15 seconds. Left for 40. 45 seconds, I'm sorry, 40 seconds rest between rounds. Any questions, guys? Let's do it. I'm gonna give us that full recovery period because I need it. My legs, my quads in particular got blown up on that. Woo! How you guys feeling? Good? I'm going 20s on this. 20 seconds, team. Come on. Let's get stacked. 15, pick them up, start getting ready. Eight, we're lunging to the right. Go body weight, you can't do it with weights. One, work. Drive through that heel and back up. Get nice and low, let that knee bend. Drive through the heel, back up. in the hips, the glutes on the right leg, the adductors, right on the inside of the leg. Five, two, one, rest. 10 seconds, we're switching legs. Come on. Three, two, one, go to the left. Reach. Drive back up. Come on, team. to the right leg. Nothing fancy today. Up the weight if you can. That was a test round. How did it feel? A little easy? Let's go up. Was your form falling off a little bit? Drop the weight, either a single dumbbell or body weight. I'm gonna go to 25s, guys. Let's go. Ten seconds. Back to the right leg. Let's start off on the right foot, literally and figuratively. Three, one, work.
12 seconds, team. Come on. Three, one, press. Woo, 15 seconds. Switch your legs. Three, two, one. Let's work. Get that opposite leg straight. Feel a nice stretch. Let that left knee bend, guys. Push that left knee forward. Woo! 10 seconds. Five, two, one, rest. Huh. We got one more round through. I'm sticking with the same weight. That felt good. Challenging, but doable. That's what we're looking for. Nice deep breath. And out of the nose. One more round, guys. Come on. 10 seconds. Right leg in five. Let's go. One, work. Load all your weight over that right leg and then drive. And that knee. <sighs> Ten seconds, team. Come on. Three, one. Rest for fifteen. Switching legs. Five, come on. Nice rest coming up after this, three minutes. And work. Team, we got the exact same format. Two moves, unilateral work, right and left. 40 each, 15 seconds rest. If you have a bench or a stool, you'll need it here. So grab it. We're gonna do some step downs. So, you can use the wall for assistance here if you need it. We're gonna start out on the right leg. You can hold onto a wall, you're gonna put your foot right on the edge of your bench. You can use a chair. Anything you have, you're gonna let that knee travel over your toe and let the pointer, the, the tip of your toe touch and push back up. Again, you can hold on to the wall. If you need some balance, try to shift the weight all over the right leg. If you wanna make it a little harder, you can throw a dumbbell up on that right shoulder so you can rack it up there like so, resting on the edge. Again, the control is the key here. You want like a two second down tempo. So we're going down, touch, drive back up. If you want to make it even harder, or if you don't want to get weight and you want to make it a little harder, 
You're gonna go down and touch the heel on the ground. So, heel goes down and touch. That gets you more range of motion. This is basically replicating a full pistol squat without getting the hamstring flexibility to get there. If you guys don't have a bench or something stable to stand on, you're gonna do split squats. So right foot forward, all the weight lowered on the front leg, down nice and slow, let that back knee kiss and drive back up. You can hold two dumbbells here at your sides. You can go body weight. The key here is focusing on that tempo, especially on the way down, also known as the negative portion of the rep. Anybody have any questions? We're going right leg for 40 seconds, left leg 40 seconds. We got 15 seconds in between moves and 40 between rounds. Three rounds through, guys. I'm gonna go with 20 pounds on it and I'm gonna try to touch the heel. So I'm going double hard. We'll see how it goes. I may have to drop or touch the pointer, the tip of the toe. We're building that hip strength, knee stability, ankle stability. Unilateral work is important. Come on, get set up guys. In five, two, one, work. Slow touch, try. The key here is not to jump off that bottom leg. Don't use that momentum from the bottom leg. It's just touching the ground. And push through your right heel. Three, one, rest. Woo, that feels good. Huh. Switch your legs, team. Touch that heel, those out you there with a low bench. Come on. Two, one, work. Come on, team. 20 seconds. <clears throat> 10. Five. Three. Two. One. Rest. Woo! 40 seconds, team. How'd that first round feel? A little easy. Touch the heel. Little, little, little hard, modify, drop the weight, or add a weight if it's too easy. Nice deep breaths, we're going back to the right leg. 15 seconds, team. Woo! Tell you what, guys, if you guys are looking for a fat burn effect, leg work will get you there. You don't need to do cardio. Five seconds. Three, one, work. One of the largest muscle groups in the body. Wait. 
10 seconds. Seven. Two. One. Rest. Woo! Come on, team. Day one, baby. Last round through, 20 seconds. Can you guys hear me over the music? Let's do it. 10 seconds, guys, last round, come on. We got one more circuit after this and we're out of here. Five, three, one, let's work. to work 10 seconds rest four movements so to start out if you have a booty band you can grab it or if you have a very light dumbbell so with our resistance loop band we're gonna put it over the knees right above the knees we're gonna go 30 seconds fire hydrants on the right leg if you only have a light dumbbell, like a two or a five, you can hook it in the crook of your knee. You're gonna come down onto all fours. Hands right underneath your shoulders. 30 seconds, you're gonna set that core, tucking your tailbone towards your chin, like so. And you're coming out to the side. Nice and slow, back down. From the front, it looks like this. Like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. So that's our first move, 30 seconds. Then we go to the left leg for 30 seconds. Then we're going to hop up. You can leave the band on here if you have it. If you don't have a band, that's fine. We're hitting 30 seconds of pulse squats. So feet shoulder width apart, normal squat stance. Think about driving those knees out against the band. Up and down in the mid range of the squat for 30 seconds. So it looks like this. All the way down, three quarters up. And you're just going to stay here and pulse in that middle position. So never fully coming up. We're never giving our legs a rest here is the key. Then we got 10 seconds rest and our final move. You can grab a dumbbell, you can keep the band on. You wanna make it as hard as possible. We're going an ISO squat hold for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna try with the dumbbell. You're gonna hold goblet style. You're gonna go down about a quarter of the way and hold this position right here about, I don't know what that is, that angle right there. Hold not fully down, you're not resting down here. You're like right here, all the tension on the legs. You're going to hold that position and isometric hold for 30 seconds. Then we got 40 seconds rest between rounds, three times through. Any questions, guys? 
This is that final burnout for the legs. Let's go. Bump up the music a little. You guys good? Ready to rock? Eight seconds, fire hydrants on the right leg. Five, three, one, work. Reach up nice and slow down. should be on fire right here. <laughs> I see Sam Ho out there holding the booty. I know it hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sergio doesn't know where he's at. Me either. Show up and work. 20 seconds, guys. Get ready for those fire hydrants. Whew. This is the fun part, guys. This is the mental. Let's go. If you can work your way through this, you can work through anything Monday's got to throw at you. Four, three, one, work.
10 seconds, come on. Keep them moving. Woo! Three, one, rest. Iso squat hold. Three, two, one, work. Get down there, hold it. Come on. Twelve seconds. Come on. Woo. Push those knees out. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo. One more round, team. Come on. Oh. Embrace this moment right here. It feels good. Or at least it feels good when it's over. 20 seconds. Let's get it, team. This is it. Day one of stacked in the books. After this round, get set up. Sit. Is this beat going to drop at the perfect time? Three, two, almost. One. Work. Drive and resist on the way back down to the ground. Ten seconds. Huh. Four, three, one. Rest. Switching legs. Woo! Come on, team. Two, one, work. Twelve seconds. Seven. Ah. Three. Two, one, rest for 10. Pull squats, come on. Three, one, let's get it. Woo, 15. Five, three, one, rest, iso hold, last one, let's take it home. Two, one, work, last one guys. Come on, hold that position. 15, we're halfway through. We can do anything for 15 seconds. Woo, hips. Come on, seven. Ha. Four, three, two, one. And done. Nice work, team. We're back. We jumped the gun a little quick there and trying to get out of day one. We have a little circuit left, a little calf action. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We got four rounds through. So we're gonna get started in 30 seconds, guys. Double calf raises. So we're gonna have two dumbbells in your hands. I'm gonna go 40 pounds. You're gonna come up on the toes, squeeze the calves, and back down. Try to, on your way back, you can rock your toes a little bit to give you a little momentum to get up. Squeeze hard, and then back down. Up, down. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're doing the exact same exercise back to back. I'm going 240s. We're starting. 10 seconds, team. We good? Yeah. Five, three, 
One, and go. 30 seconds of work. Coming up on those toes, squeeze nice and slow down. Then had it pop in in broad day, that's Avi. Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fake and a punch drunk. My providence, they don't love us. They rather treat us like an animal. They wonder why we on A. Escaping shit, I'm off the cannabis. Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum. Yelling for three, two, one. Rest for ten. Set them down if you need to. Get that grip or rest. Keep it stress free. Four. Right back into it. Two, one. Work another thirty. Please. Ten seconds, come on. Five. Three. One. Rest. Come on, Ross. There we go. And some curls with it. One, go, work. Ross hitting that calf and curl set. The ultimate accessory workout. Mm. Woo! Fifteen. We got one more round after this. Ten. Two, one, rest for 10, last one guys. And then we're really done. This time, five, three, one, work. Come on, please. Calf should be feeling pretty tight by this point. Woo. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Officially, day one in the books. Nice work, Zim, get in here. Awesome work, guys. Way to set the tone on week one of SAC. I'm gonna link the calendars down below for those of you that aren't live in case you didn't get the email. Download them, print them out. Keep track of your score. Just a note on the live workouts this week. If you guys didn't get the email, we're going Monday through Friday on live workouts. No Saturday live workout this week. <clears throat> so just a heads up. Back to back days all week this week. We'll be back tomorrow with an upper body workout. You guys have an awesome freaking Monday.